What's up, everyone? Michael Massey here with Front Stretch. I'm joined by Derek Krause, the driver of the number 16 for College Racing. How are you doing today, Derek? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. It's a wonderful race day, you know? Nothing's like a race day, right? Yeah, I know. It's definitely a good day. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's been a little windy here, and we're in Las Vegas, and yesterday there, there was a, or maybe it was two days ago, there was a video circulating of you run into the car, and uh, the pe- people were commenting on it, how is his hair staying perfectly in place? So so how how is that going on? Uh, I don't know, I just gel in the morning, but yeah, we, uh, I was a little late to get in the car for qualifying, but uh, I was looking over some SMT data with Travis before qualifying, and uh, trying to learn as much as I could. Gotcha. Well, how how are you feeling about the cup car so far? Uh, it's definitely kind of everything what everybody told me about it. It's a lot different than than anything else that I've ever driven, for sure. It feels feels a lot different with how the car reacts to the track and, and changes and all that stuff. So uh, it's definitely been a great experience, and I'm um, looking forward to the race. So who have you been leaning on as you get ready for to race in cup this year? Uh, I talked to AJ and Daniel, the two teammates, quite a bit, and they've been really helpful and uh, telling me kind of the do's and don'ts of the car, but uh, it's definitely one of those things you kind of just got to experience. I've ran the sim thousands of laps before in, in the cup car with Legacy and then also Colleg, and uh, it's definitely definitely a lot different than the simulator. Yeah, uh, yeah obviously. <laughs> um, not, not the Gs and all that yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, so how did this deal come together? I know you, you ran some races for Colleg last year in Xfinity. Uh, I guess, first off, how did that come together and then lead to you doing cup races this year? Uh, yeah, obviously I didn't have anything going on last year and then uh, was able to get in the Colleg uh, Xfinity car for, for a couple of races and uh, it felt like Colleg, me and Colleg, everyone at Colleg Racing kind of uh, meshed really well and, and we had really good relationship and uh, everyone at Colleg, Matt and Chris, they all have really good people working there, and uh, it's kind of a really good atmosphere to be in, and uh, it was really exciting, and kind of just started doing simulator for them, and then uh, this winter, when I got back from Wisconsin for from uh, Christmas break, we were, I was sitting in the simulator, and Chris called me, and uh, he was kind of presented me with the opportunity, and uh, I made a couple phone calls, and luckily enough, uh, Western States flooring, and a couple other people were able to come on board and uh, give me this opportunity. Now, I noticed, uh, I remember the Daniel Hemrick announcement at Bristol. You were sitting in the back of the room. I, I, you sat next to me, actually, I think. We talked some Packers then. Uh, but So, did you know then you were going to do cup races? Or were you just going to be the test driver at that point? No, I had, I had no idea. I didn't, have, I didn't have an idea going into the season, to be honest with you, until... Literally a week after New Year's, I got back on Monday and Tuesday. Chris called me about it, so uh, it, I just kind of went to that just to go experience it. And Chris and Matt were there, and Chris told me to come in to try to, because remember the big the big thing about the handshake was then. So uh, they tried to just kind of use me as a plant for that. But uh, it was kind of a really cool experience just to go and see that announcement and see how everybody was so happy. You talk about when they were everybody was looking at the freckle and trying to yeah. decipher it and all that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, good times there. Uh, great, great moment on NASCAR Twitter mm-hmm. or X, whatever it's called now. Uh, so you kind of had an unconventional path uh, to get here to make your Cup debut. H- how much of a struggle has it been just to, just to make this happen? Uh, I wouldn't say a st- struggle. I mean, it's definitely the sport has come down to sponsorships for sure. Uh, so a big thing is sponsorship and have people funding you behind you. So uh, that that's what we're always looking for, trying to get sponsorship. And uh, with West, Western States Flooring, we built a really good relationship with them. And uh, they were on the car and truck last year, actually, at, at Phoenix. And uh, so they were happy to come aboard with, with this cup race. And then we got a couple other sponsors as well. Gotcha. So since you were a kid, you had uh, Freddie Kraft as your spotter. What's it like not having him as your spotter racing? Uh, it's definitely different uh, having that guy in your ear in your ear for so long. I mean, I was 12 or 13 years old when the first time that he spotted for me. So, kind of built a relationship really good with him, and he knows what my uh, what my things I do on the racetrack are, and uh, he knows how to fix them, how to tell me. But 
Uh, I've been able to work with really good spotters here at College Racing with Frank Denny and then also Joe. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to today, and uh, it should be a lot of fun listening to him. So what would you consider a success in these? You got six starts planned. Uh, what would you consider a success in them? Uh, just completing all the laps, just trying to learn as much as I can. I mean, it's crazy how much you can learn following a Kyle Larson or Joey Logano or or people like that that have been in the series for so long. And uh, even yesterday in practice, I mean, I just following those guys just made me learn a ton. And I feel like going into these races, just trying to keep it clean and uh, just finishing all the laps and minimizing all the mistakes that I can that I make and uh, just doing everything I can right. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you're doing these six starts we mentioned. Are you trying to get any other races and any other what what other racing are you doing outside of these cup starts uh we're trying to get more races for sure whether it's xfinity car or the cup car so uh we're trying to do that and then also i have my super late model at home in wisconsin that'll definitely be running a couple times this year for sure it's always special to go home and run that and uh but definitely the main goal is to try to get starts in the xfinity or cup car with colleague racing gotcha uh you mentioned wisconsin it wouldn't be an interview between us if we didn't talk some Wisconsin sports, right? What do you think about Jordan Love, the quarterback for the Packers so far? I was, to be honest, I was a little iffy on him from the beginning of the season, but then he really turned on at the end. I really feel like we should have won the 49ers game. That was that would have been a really good uh, game to win just because it was McAnally's team. He was texting me about going to the game, but... Uh, yeah, that would I I really feel like he's got it. So that's that's really good to have. We got really lucky with her last three quarterbacks that I was live for, honestly. So uh, it's it's definitely really cool and really exciting to go into next season with Jordan. Yeah, just couldn't put the 49ers away. Hey, we'll always have that Cowboys game, though, right? Yeah, yeah, that was a good game for sure. Uh, and then I'll, I'll send you out on this one. Uh, my boy Davey Siegel always gave you a hard time. Uh, for a certain player on the Milwaukee Bucks, the pronunciation of his name. I'll continue the trend. How, how do you say his name? <laughs> I, Giannis Anting, I don't know. It's There's a lot of letters in it. <laughs> I think it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think that's how the press it. Sounds right. <laughs> so, all right. We're, we're still trying to get there, Davey. Uh, so this has been Derek Krause. Look for him in the 16 car, various points this year. And for Front Stretch, I'm Michael Massey. Thank you, guys. Jared Haas with FrontStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrontStretch.com for more great content.